Well, y'all, here we go. Part two of the uh, Project Skulldozer. And what we're doing today is just simple um, fixes to get it where we want to before we get all the accessories put on and such. And one of the biggest thing is the seats. Now, this is a work truck. And the guys had a lot of climbing gear on their belts and such. And now the driver's side is way worse than the passenger. Uh, we'll show you guys out here in a second. But you see there's holes in there. Uh, what we did is we went to the local uh, hobby store. And we picked up some of this polyfill. And that's uh, a fiber fill. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually stuff that in the hole. And then I picked up some polyfoam. Uh, which is for, you know, chair cushions, sofa cushions, things like that. So we're going to fill it with the polyfill cover it with the foam and then of course trusty old three mil uh, tough duct tape so we're going to put that on top of it now the reason we're doing with the duct tape is not so much for looks we're not really going for the appearance we're looking for the functionality of it because we're about to put some camouflage seat covers on this truck so you really don't need to see it you just need to support especially when we go on long distance trips and getting in and out of the truck you just don't want to feel that hole right there and you don't want to feel the frame of the seat either so again we're going to fill it with a polyfill cover it with a foam tape it over the duct tape so let's get started Stuff it in there pretty good, get a good, get it filled up pretty good without really shoving it down in there too much. You can have a little bit more than you need because the foam is really what's going to hold it down, and then we'll tape it over there. So, all right, we got the hole kind of filled up here with the old polyfill. I'm going to cut us a, a little piece here for the foam. I figure we'll get us a little chunk here. Again, it's foam, so it doesn't really have to be all that perfect, just close enough. Alright. So now we got our, our polyfill. Now we got our foam on there. Cover it up. And so we'll probably just uh put a little bit right there too, I guess, but close enough. Let's get a piece of this to hold it down and then we'll really really put it on good. So we're probably just going to put one piece on there just to get it held down and then we'll get it good here in a second so let's get it on there Just enough to hold it and then we're really going to put it on there pretty good now here's a little hole right here i think we'll probably just now yeah, we'll just take that up so we're going to do now we're going to try to get it pretty good There it is. Now 
as you see it's uh got support still it's not gonna come off feels good I don't foresee there being any issues we might stick one more on the top just in case just cuz kind of hold the ends down and there it is there's one side again nothing fancy but uh you know what I have camouflage seat covers on it you ain't gonna know what hits you Well, as you can tell, guys, this one's a little bit more serious. We got straight up metal showing right here. So probably what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to start with the foam, put a start with a base, put the polyfill in the middle, and put the, then put the foam back on top of it, and then start taping it up. So this one's going to be a little bit more intense than the other one was. So let's get started. You go another side done you feel the support it's uh definitely gonna be a lot more comfortable again it ain't pretty guys but that's that's not the point of it right now is to have the support and we're gonna have some camouflage seat covers over top of this thing so they're gonna look good but the main thing was when you went to slide out of that truck you felt that metal and boy when it got cold in the mornings i could feel that metal on the back of my leg so uh, it's a good thing we got it covered up Got this seat fixed, got the passenger side done. We got a couple little things to do on the back seat, but it's no big deal. So we knocking it out today. Well guys, we uh, got it all taken care of. As you see, that one, it was a little soft. I had a little hole, so I filled the hole with the fiber fill. And then there was a little chunk missing out of that one, covered it up. And then uh, the passenger side, chewed up pretty good but as you can see we got it taken care of there was also some a crack up there on that armrest took care of it and the biggest one though the biggest one was the um driver's side man that thing was rough but i guess i mean i guess uh you know the driver's in there the most so it was pretty bad it was chewed up but i'm real happy with the way it turned out uh we got a lot of foam in there got some support feels good uh, there's a little cut right there we got it taken care of and then uh, pretty happy with it and then now the back passenger same thing it had a little bit of you know foam missing out of it but we got it filled up taped up and again like i said it, it don't have to be pretty because we're going to put a uh, camouflage seat covers on it and that's, this is just one of those things that uh, just makes a little bit of sense to touch it up make it feel good support wise because we're going to be driving all over the place with it but you don't got to get crazy with it you don't have to buy new seats and all that stuff this is going to be a hunting truck we're going to have mud in it we're going to have blood in it we're going to be 
probably soaking wet coming in from the rain from hunting so we're gonna put some nice camouflage seat covers on this but right now the biggest thing was functionality we needed support we put the phone back in it taped it up like i said ain't pretty but it don't matter because it's going to get uh seat covers here soon and now the next project we're going to run into town real quick and we're going to take care of this guy we're going to get us a tailgate handle and uh, that way we ain't got to worry with them little rods right there them things are aggravating as could be and then i need to get a uh, tailgate support so that i can start loading the four-wheeler in the back instead of uh on the trailer so but anyways hang out with us we're gonna get some more parts